Hello everybody, don't worry, I'm still alive. I know it's been a long time since my last post. The reason is I got COVID right at the start of the season and then I've been cooking up some crazy stuff in Fortnite Creative. But today I'm back taking on the Solo Victory Cup. Ever heard of it? No, Javin, what's that? Well, it's my specialty. We're about to cook today, even though I've barely played any Fortnite over the past month. You may think I'd be washed after a long break, but the past couple days I've been dropping some nukes in Forever Zone Wars and I'm feeling pretty good going into this but we're about to find out if i'm washed or not going into game number one all right bro one mission today and that is qualify i don't care if i got a camp for end games we're making this happen all i've been playing is forever zone wars so if we qual today you already know the magic sauce oh i can't hit a shot bro Let's go. All right. First kill. There we go. Cooking. We are getting to the dead side of the zone here. Sorry, buddy. set up here though my gosh whoa it didn't activate it oh my gosh that was scary I might actually want to stay up here anyways. go why is no one oh there is someone on height what the heck What, bro? Oh my gosh, I just could not hit that guy. All right, so the question is, after that first game, am I washed? What do you guys think? I may have sold that last fight pretty hard, but I feel like I wasn't playing too bad in that game. But let's be real, first game really doesn't count for much. The real test comes in game number two. Real quick before we get into it, let me tell you what's new in the update for Forever Zone Wars. As you know, it's a never-ending Zone Wars map with killstreaks, and we just added literally six new killstreaks to the game. With Halloween coming up, we decided to add Add some Halloween themed items into the killstreak list, along with a ton of Halloween decorations, a new nuke cinematic, and a bunch of performance boosts. This update to Forever Zone Wars is pretty fire. But the real question is, did it prepare me enough to clutch up in game number two? We're about to find out. Hit him with that piece. Oh my gosh, that might have been the most evil thing I've ever done. Okay, I shouldn't have danced on top of it. All right, we are full set for endgame. Sheesh. 40 white. Okay, that was worth two dashes for sure. Yeah, that was a waste for sure. Now that's a fire zone pull. Oh, 
I don't think I got many mats there. What the heck? Wow, bro. Where did that guy come from? Well, guys, I think we have our answer. I played that so bad on high ground, but hey, we still got a long tourney ahead of us. Let's not beat ourselves up yet. Game three is where this tourney really became interesting. You guys have no idea. As you can see, I'm just looting up off spawn, doing my thing. I'm pretty stacked early on here, honestly. Then out of nowhere, I freeze and I literally can't move for two minutes straight. The storm is on me. I'm about to die and I'm like actually getting pretty annoyed right now. But last second, I unfreeze i'm able to splash myself up and i survive but what happened next was the craziest thing what the heck bro everybody in my lobby just died i'm top 20 now what the heck i'm getting blessed with a free quality it looks like after the player count literally getting depleted i just planned on playing this out for the win because placement points are everything but the remaining players in this lobby were so stupid bro like this guy from the train station literally starts chasing me when we have a max pull half and half i literally couldn't believe what was happening in this end game but the real question is can we clutch up What is this lobby doing? Hello? Alright, we pulled back, but holy crap, bro. Is this the dumbest lobby of, of all time? Bro, it feels like this lobby's teaming on me. Did I not get the mats off that guy or was he that shambles? That's crazy. Bro, I missed the mats again. What am I doing? Wow, we traded. That's insane. Despite not winning that game, I think we got enough points to qualify at this point. 119 was enough for last week, so we're probably chilling. But it being my first tournament back, I wanted this to be a banger and get a crazy placement. So game number four, we're looking to keep this momentum going. And this is what happened next. Bruh. What? No! After that one, I think it's time to wrap this show up. All right, guys, have a nice night. All right, let's just pretend it didn't happen. Going into game number five, I was stacked going into this end game. And that's when I absolutely fried this guy and I managed to get over there and get that loot. I was looking set up to pop off this game. And this is what happened next. Man, wow, this guy was shambles, huh?
Wow, that guy is actually, his name is Zoom, bro. That dude was zooming around. I can't lie, bro. I gotta give credit where credit is due. That guy just completely jabated me. I was so sure that he ran away and then he just zoomed on back. The worst part is we were literally cooking that game, but hey, it's all good. I had time for one more game in the opens and I was playing it pretty well, but I just kind of sold in the end game. I rotated at a really bad time, but the good news is we made it to the finals. So it's time for the true test. Can we get a hundred earned? Let's find out in game number one. All right, bro, here we go. Wow. 50 mats, need a refresh. Oh, dude, no way someone's spraying. That was the game winning refresh right there, man. I did my best that first game, but right as I got the refresh I needed, I went down. There was definitely a lot of things I could have done different in that end game, but hey, it was our first game of the finals. Let's go into game number two. This game was a lot different than game one. It started out with an early game fight. After winning that fight, of course, I just started playing for the end game, trying to get my mats, get all my heals. But the thing was, I did not find a fizz this game, which is the only form of movement. And that's a big problem. But the good news is I did have three dashes that I could use. The problem was every single half and half zone pulled max distance and we were in the mountain side of the zone. I managed to make it through the first half and half rotate perfectly without using any dashes. But the second one was looking a lot more dangerous. Dangerous. I don't know how I'm gonna do this one, bruh. That guy went. There's just no way I pull this off, right? What is this?
I mean, there's nothing I can do. I'm getting sprayed in my back. I'm getting sprayed in my front and on my bottom there, bro. As you guys saw, I literally did everything I could to make that work, but without Fizz, it is so difficult. But I was really close to pulling that off. We had one more game in the finals, but unfortunately I went down off spawn. So this week was a wrap. But all in all, I'm pretty proud of how I played. Hopefully you guys enjoyed. Don't forget to try out the Halloween update to Forever Zone Wars, solos, duos, and trios codes down below. I'll catch you in the next one. Peace.